What's going on guys? Geosnowder here, so in today's quick video I'm going to try to analyze a, an IPA that claims to be some kind of jailbreak, some kind of um, exploit on the uh, iOS 10.2.1 apparently, that uh, is an IPA that actually does something. It respringes my device for some reason and uh, normally you cannot respring without a jailbreak as far as I know. So um, this IPA might be something. I'm going to analyze it in this video, but it was uh, kindly pointed out to me by Ritesh Gatpali. I'm sorry guy if I can't pronounce your name correctly. Anyways, he says in here on Twitter, he contacted me and says, hey man, can you check that this, um, uh, that is this uh, jailbreak IPA? And he gives me this link on host Z uh, custom made farmer. And uh, the IPA is 6.4 megabit and I have tracked it uh, down to this guy in here on Twitter, which is apparently um, saying he's a solo iOS hacker. He says jailbreaks in here. And uh, at some point he said that he uh, his team is working on a jailbreak or something like this. Let me try to find that thing. And, um, yeah, if you think he's fake, uh, you should not follow him. Okay, pretty, pretty okay with that. Anyways, okay, I found it. My team is working on a jailbreak, so don't ask me. Okay, so, yeah. He says he is actually involved in a jailbreak. So let's test his IPA. Well, I wasn't able to find this IPA on the internet, except on that website that was pointed out by this guy in here, and on a Chinese website called bbs.feng.com. And the post was in Chinese, but I managed to translate it using Google Translate in here. And it says that host Z custom made farmer, we're speaking about this Twitter account, so we confirm it's his IPA. Um, give me that his jailbreak tool was stolen, will not release the public jailbreak tool only with friends to share with me to help him do host spring icon. Well, I, I can't understand anything in here, but because the translation is gibberish. But we know this is a um, this IPA that he links down below in here. You can see it has the same size, tends to be a jailbreak. So um, let's see what kind of jailbreak. Well, I decided to um, to take this IPA to bits and I installed it on my test device because I was very curious about it. It looked promising. So I decided to open the uh, IPA and I am um, actually seen that the device got a resprung. Well, that's something strange because normally, as far as I know, in order to be able to respring a device, you need to be jailbroken to kill all the applications running in the springboard, including the springboard um, on the user side. But no, the side device that I'm uh, I'm using for testing is running iOS 10.2.1 and it's not jailbroken and definitely the IPA has managed to uh, respring it, but this is actually what it does, anything it does. So I decided to take it to bits because at that point my curiosity has reached enormous levels. Well, in the, uh, in the space spring uh, app in here, there's nothing very related to a jailbreak, no uh, tar file with anything, so it's not a clone to the Yalu, and uh, in order to actually answer to uh, Ritesh's question, it's not uh, just a, um, a clone of Home Depot, because down below in here he says, I know it's fake, but I want to see that is this another Home Depot uh, IPA. Home Depot is actually this right here, which is a real jailbreak for the iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4 on 32 bits. And uh, on my channel, I did a check previously on an iOS 10.3 fake uh, jailbreak IPA that was just a clone of that um, Home Depot, but with a couple of modifications. So, um, yeah, it was something very interesting, so I decided to take this to bits. Let's go ahead on the device to show you exactly what happens when we try it, and then we're going to go ahead and verify it. Okay, so here is the uh, device. We're going to go ahead in here right now and I'm going to, to go into the application. You can see this is exactly what the application does. It says it's going to respring and wants to send me notifications for some reason. And um, as you can see, it's going to respring. Uh, the, uh, the labels are here are not aligned, which means he has no idea how to set constraints into Xcode. Um, because yeah, probably he made it for a bigger screen and it didn't. Uh, he didn't create a um, constraint mechanism. But uh, the application, as you can see, stays stuck in here for a couple of seconds. Then, uh, for some reason, it resprings. As you can see, it did resprung, which is definitely not normal for a fake um, I I was jailbreak application but definitely not makes this to be something very special. Anyways, what intrigues me, uh, and I think it's something related to possibly malware. If you open the application, is that it does this, all right? Okay, but if I decide to simply knock it off, to simply close it, 
my device will still be a very strong, which means that this application runs something in the background, as you can see from here, which possibly might be dangerous at some point. I do not know, but it can be dangerous if it does that in the background. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I would definitely not install this on my device. Jump cut. Apparently, this application is actually implementing a notification system properly. For some reason, uh, if you go ahead in here and you navigate to host spring, it actually does seem to integrate successfully with the notification system, which really means that somebody has put a little bit of work into making this application uh, as, I, I don't know, as um, real looking as possible. You can see um, it asks me for um, notifications in the beginning and uh, this toggle can be actually toggled in here, which means that the notification mechanism implemented in the application is definitely real. I do not know if it sends any kind of notification, but uh, I didn't receive anything yet from uh, from the application. I tried uh, running the application, it did respond, but it didn't send any notification. But yes, the uh, mechanism itself seems to be completely implemented. Uh, this is definitely the best fake I've have I have ever seen in my entire life. Okay, so uh, now that we see how it acts on the device itself, let's open it in a disassembler and see the exact code of it. I'm going to of course use Hopper disassembler for that, and I already extracted the binary so that I can take it to bits. Okay, for some reason this fake uh, jailbreaks are uh, spreading across the internet and the reason I'm making this video is, is to raise the awareness because if people are actually telling me about them and linking me to them, uh, a lot of people are trying them and uh, out of curiosity or because they're desperate to jailbreak, they might get their device infected with some kind of malware. So uh, by the looks of it, it has a couple of view controllers, although I can only see one or uh, the same view controller might have different um, uh, methods. Anyways, it has an iOS version, probably it checks for the iOS version. I would be very surprised if this really checks something. Uh, and crash text, view did load. Well, I'm going to, um, to jump cut and uh, I'm going to check this for a couple of minutes to see exactly what it does. I'm going to be right back. Okay, so uh, by the looks of it, anything that this application does is to respring and detect the iOS version. It is actually able to detect the iOS version by the looks of it. And uh, what I have seen is that this developer behind it has absolutely no idea on how methods work and how to create different methods and call into them from the view controller. Well, um, why I'm saying that is that if you open here the, uh, the graph mode, you can see that uh, we're analyzed in here in graph mode what what is actually the view did load uh, method which as you can see is definitely huge i mean look at it is this is the uh, the biggest view did load method that i have ever seen in my entire life everything um, i mean every part of the actual code that is done by this application is actually stuffed in this view did load which means that the memory of the device will be definitely sucked into this application when you're opening it. You can see it starts in here and we are scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. This is definitely a huge method and normally if it would be a normal jailbreak probably it would be normal to have a lot of things into the view did load but uh, view did load is actually um, a method that initializes when the uh, first screen of the application is being presented to the user. So when you're opening the, when you're opening the application, what are you seeing and what is being initialized in that point in the first screen is actually what is being done by this view did load. But as you can see, it's definitely huge. Everything contained in the uh, code part of the application resides in this uh, side of the code, which is definitely a very bad practice to do as everything, uh, the entire code will be run after um, the application is being opened, which is definitely bad for the device's memory. Anyways, this is exactly what this does. I mean, it doesn't have any kind of jailbreak related exploit or jailbreak uh, code injection or any payload copying and so on. It's just doing every spring, which, yeah, uh, somebody has put a little bit of work into this by the looks of it. It's the next level of fake jailbreak, um, by the way. But I, I would take this developer with a uh, grain of salt because as you can see, he has little to no knowledge on iOS. And uh, yeah, he, he doesn't seem to be involved in any iOS projects. So 
I wouldn't go as far as saying the um, developer is definitely fake, but that IPA is definitely not a jailbreak you should try. And um, I, as you can see, I have no concerns for my own security of the devices, but that's just because this is a test device and contains no personal data into it. I would definitely say if you came across this um, jailbreak related IPA, do not try it on your own device. Till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on anything that happens and peace out.